All right, last episode we just arrived in Green Top Nursery. Now it's time to go after this these Dunwich Borers, which are seem to be awfully near this Hugo's hole. I wonder. I must have just had some previous little piece of dialogue that made Hugo's hole show up on my map. Because I don't see the other location yet. What do we have around here? Hey, a motorcycle. It says motorcycle that's standing up in the debris. Has it been used? Is Daryl around here? Things are mostly clear so far. What a nice change, by the way. Considering we, we, how many episodes we spent in town with city buildings everywhere and vending machines. Here's some pretty cool looking tree environments. Thought I heard like a groaning sound. Could have been the dog whining. Dog is a little noisy. We have lights. What is that? Something not on my map. But of course I'm going to investigate. Oh, shit. Bat angry sounds. Was that the animal down there? Oh, it was. Just stunted Yaogwai. I'll stunt his neck hole. Okay, that's not very strong. Ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> Kind of helped. Not great news all around, though. Bam. <laughs> this is really hard to aim. <laughs> yeah, cool, I got it. Cool recoil, bro. Alright. Just keep wailing on it. We're almost there. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm getting the fucking experience for you. Wow. I mean, I've always heard bears were fast. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, 25 experience is mine. Oh, we get someone's attention? Where are they at? Oh, a laser turret. Okay, let's watch out for that. That's gonna get us in trouble. There we go. What is that? Alright, we have another thing to investigate. It'll probably take us like five episodes to get to that place. Judging by my usual track record. This is my favorite part of the game, though. It's just like, what the fuck's over here? The game. <laughs> listening point- listening post bravo. Stumbled here because I was chasing a bear. That's how it goes. There's the chunks of that vehicle. Oh. Caution. What's nearby to, to detect me? Oh. Uh-oh. Protectron not friendly. No, go down, go down. Okay, we're good. For the moment. Could have gone worse. Cool, I can open this one on my own. Doesn't always happen. That's it. What do we have? Ammo. A shotgun, that's it. Underwhelming. I'll accept it. There we go. Sweet ammo. Some water. Maybe not. Or Ooh, hardened snipe rifle. What does that mean in this context? I can't use this terminal though, huh? Security's too good. Ah. Yep. Whatever's going on here, we're not going to find it till we get better hacking or bring that science, bring that uh, spy guy around to keep saying I'm going to bring. All right. Oh god. Um. Move a little bit now, weapon. Oh. Okay. Stop. Stop hiding. There we go. <laughs> it's a hardened snipe rifle. Sixty-four damage. How's that compared to my calibrated snipe rifle? Fifty-one damage. Range. Accuracy. Calibrated is technically more accurate, but this thing's damage is kind of a big deal. I may not need to keep the... yeah. May not want to deal with the, uh, calibrated one anymore. Not that I've really used it up to this point, but... When it's time to actually use a regular-ass sniper rifle again... <laughs> that'll be the one to go for. I should've used a sniper rifle against the bear. That's the type of high hit points target you'd want to go after. Is this a vault? This looks a lot like the entrance to the vault we went in. No, it's just a helipad. Unless helipad- unless vaults look like helipads. Could be. 
The vault was just a was, was just a, a weird screw top door in the middle of that kind of opening. All right, back towards the other bright thing we saw. What is that? Anyone there? It's all lit. Oh, there's one. Can vats from here, so I can't identify it as being hostile or not. Probably hostile because it's waste. It's fallout. Who knows how how anyone survives in this universe for three seconds? Gunshots coming off in the distance. We're probably like halfway to our destination already. But I still still don't know if we're gonna make it there this episode because this thing looks real. This place looks pretty cool. Oh. Something called Forged. What? Wait, is he a synth? He is a synth. Oh, he's level 21. Interesting. Oh. Winter attack? Are they fighting something else? Oh, there's a war happening out there. Do I want to pick a side? He's Forged. Whoa, high level Forged, level 30. Oh, they're fighting a Deathclaw. Interesting. Can't really pick a side in that one. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh god. Oh god. Where am I going? Um... I've, I've had better starts before. Okay. Might be time for a proper sniper rifle. Let's go hardened. Oh shit. Oh shit, sniper rifle. I mean, no, no, fuck. Started pressing all the wrong buttons there. All right, my, my my entire keyboard slid crooked a little bit, and I started pressing control instead of uh, instead of sprint. Oh shit, I can't even walk faster. Am I crippled right now? I'm boned. You're expressive for a robot man. Could fuck off for a second, would you kindly? God damn it! I can't even see him. All right, I might be screwed, guys. Especially since I can't fucking move. What's going on with that? I think am I crippled or something? What's going on with my character? Do I have a status effect? No. God damn it! Oh, the gutsy's also mad at me, huh? Okay. Well, that went poorly. I'm gonna say maybe let's circumvent that place for a while. All right, since I had so much trouble ju with just one of them, let's see if I can get around this place without running into any more forged. Because that was clearly a problem. Couldn't really deal any damage. Why am I moving so slow? Wait, am I overburdened? No. Isn't this slow? Like, I can run. My, my normal walking speed is not supposed to be this slow, is it? What the fuck? That's probably why I couldn't get away. Why am I moving so slow? Hang on. Alright, so apparently I hit caps lock. And caps lock toggles your run speed like this. So I was... That was part of the reason why I was running so slow. What? That was, that's, it's weird that you can toggle into slow moving. Oh cool, these guys are neutral. Where am I? I'm not there yet, I'm at the slog. Which might be another potential outpost like that. We'll find out. Yeah, apparently if you hit caps lock you move slow, so when my when my keyboard slid and I totally screwed up there, I probably also hit caps lock and probably t t toggled a walk mode, which further made it impossible for me to get away. It's like a weird... I don't know if you want to get in that dog meat. <laughs> Alright, well... Yep, there's a workshop. Looks like I'm allowed to take this place over too, which seems like a risk, because it's in line, direct line of sight with that place. I bet you that they tell you to... Oh, there's a bunch of people living here too. I bet you they tell you to go take that place over. Hey, make yourself at home, friend. Friendly worker ghoul? Alright, do you guys have a leader? Wiseman? <clears throat> Welcome to the slog. We're the only Tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? <laughs> the slog? How'd you come up with that name? We didn't. It was the caravan traders who started that. I started this place a few years back, but couldn't think of a name for it. 
Then one day, one of the traders pulls up after it's been raining for hours and says he's never had to slog through so much mud in his life. I asked him if it was worth it, and he said, for the best tar berries in the Commonwealth, it was definitely worth it. Working here is like a slog through the mud. It's tough going and you'll get dirty doing it, but at the end of the day, it's worth it. You probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City, until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome, and that's mainly why I started up this farm. It looks like you've done well for yourselves. It's a good start, yeah, and I'm proud of all the work we've done. Still, I think we can do more. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting, with smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. Anything I can do to help? I appreciate the offer. But I think we're doing as much as can be done. If you want to put in a good word for us with the traders, that couldn't hurt. Why don't you take a look around? Deirdre's always looking to trade supplies for caps, and Ollie could use a hand gathering tar berries. It's been good talking with you. I hope you'll visit us again. I bet that if we're nice enough with them and helpful enough that they'll, uh, oops, put the gun away. They'll probably join our, uh, organization. Are they really all ghouls? They are. I didn't see that in the dark. I, th I think it's the hair that threw me off, yeah. Everyone's sleeping now, so it's a, it's a bit awkward. Do you see me over here? All I want to do is take your addict all. Why do you have to stand guard like that? Go do something else with your life, so I can t steal all your stim packs. <laughs> I just want all your stim packs, bro. It's okay. It's okay, man. Probably works better if I don't illuminate myself like that, by the way. In fact, now that I'm not lit up, what, what's gonna happen here? No, he still sees me. That's not changing. Even when, I, when I'm in weird sneaky mode. Alright. I wouldn't be surprised if, that they, if they ultimately can join me. They have the right symbol on the map and everything. God damn, a lot of people live here, by the way. You know, once you have a big enough group of people and enough traders for, that you have access to or something... They'd probably join you, ultimately. For now, not a lot going on. What's in there? Duct tape. Cool location. Concerningly close to the synths, though. I think I could see them. I could probably spot them from here if they were in the correct parts of the building. I right, keep the place in mind for later. Might have to ask around for... Let's see. I have a whole little theme park sort of area down here. Looks like a diner over here, all shut down. I like their outside of the city environments. These shut down buildings and the uh you can't go in here, can you? Oh. There's all these shut down buildings and the uh destroyed destroyed overpasses nice. and everything. There are some sweet drugs. All right. Best part is that they don't wear anything. Unstoppable's comic, it's burnt though, unfortunately. Yep, not going to get any skill points out of those ones. Can dog food. Nope. This place is pretty, even though it was closed off, this place is pretty dealt with. I like that you can loot this thing. You can loot the iguana soup here, even though it's clearly upside down. And anything, if there's anything in it, it would have been dumped out a long time ago. And that was, that was that way before I got here. Huh. And not much to do here. Looks like that's the way to go. Any crossings that don't involve going straight into the water? Not right away. There's also a place over here. There's so many locations in this game. It's kind of mind-blowing. Yeah, the thinnest way is over here. In fact, if I can go around it this way, it looks like. Ah! At least a thinner crossing. What's that? That's a tree. Thought it was some sort of four-legged thing. Alright. Jump! Mostly made it. I don't even know if it's irradiated, I just assume it is, because Fallout. There's a decent chance of any water source you find being dangerous for you. 
Anyone around to cause me problems? Look at that water tower. Oh. Hello. Dog, we found an enemy, huh? Is it those guys with the guns? Are those enemies? Oh, those are raiders. Good to know. Oh, that's the raiders we're here for. This is the exact spot. Check that out, though. There's a lot of places to check out around here. Alright. This may be time for a proper sniper rifle. Where is my... Oh. Weapons. Hardened sniper rifle. Alright. Hey, buddy. No! I accidentally toggled out of stealth mode for a second there. That was not the alt button. I swear I must be going crazy. I know, right? Oh shit. Okay. Shut the fuck up a second. I hear something. The hold breath button is the same button as the throw your explosives button. There might be some gaps in the thought process here. Alright. What was that? Whoa. Uh oh crap. My order of operations is all out of whack as far as aiming goes. <laughs> Did it twice. They can't see me right now, right? Are they, sh are they just shooting in the general direction they think I'm in? Alright, this could go poorly for me. Let's just be careful. They made the mistake of camping in such a giant place. Let's take full advantage if we can. God damn. Alright. Come on. Ah. Okay. What's the VAT's chance? 20%? I can do better than that, hopefully. Oh man, they're crowding up. Is that a pa that's power armor. That's a worry. I cannot hit them, damn. That didn't hit either? Or maybe it did and just didn't kill? It probably hit. Alright, fuck it. I'll go for body shots if I need to. There's one. Yeah, that, that, that armored character is going to be a little tougher. Hello. How you feeling, buddy? They don't really die from headshots, do they? Oh, wait. That's, that's supposed to be an improved hit chance in VATS when they get grabbed like that. There we go. Still not enough to kill, though. These characters are fucking durable. Did I really miss that? Damn, man. I'm not really proving myself right now. All oh, the flashlights aren't helping me though. And the return fire. Oh yeah, I will. Especially for that guy. Oh shit. Oh shit. He had to move at that exact moment. Buddy. That missed? Okay. Oh shit. It's behind me. Oh shit. Damn you, grenade indicator. Tell me where you're gonna land, not where you are right now. You put getting me in trouble. Oh shit. Alright, we're having a bad time. At the moment. We're having a bad time. You're alive still? Sniper rifle my ass. There we go. Yeah, these guys all give more experience than- oh shit. I didn't really get out of the way of that, did I? These guys get- oh, I'm not- I'm not even- I wasn't even in crouch. Shit, I thought I was stealth mode. My bad. God damn, they take headshots really well. I'm sorry, what level are you fuckers? 39. Shit. That's what's going on here. Okay, let's get some distance real quick. I don't even know where my dog is. Probably in like three pieces. If I'm lucky. Alright. I see you, buddy. Oh, that's the power armor, isn't it? Oh, that's just one of those jackasses that wears the silly armor that I'm wearing right now. Or I was earlier. Ah. This could be going better. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Sweet, sweet stealth damage. Ah, that wobbly control is not helping me. That's not all mouse movements, that's also just the game's... the gun swaying like crazy. 
That's a headshot. Welcome to shooter RPGs where headshots don't really work. Because they leveled up and got a harder head. They have a level 39 bulletproof skull. Do -do 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 -do. You can't live forever. You can't live forever. There we go. There we go. That sweet cha-ching sound. So satisfying in these games. It means you did something right. At the moment, there's no enemies in line of sight because Vats brings up nothing. It's a quick save moment if I've ever seen one. Alright. Could have gone... That could have gone better. Booty shot! He's alive still. Of course he is. What? I, did I miss that one or something? There we go. That's one less. That is one less. Where are you guys at? Oh. Hey! Come on, I dare you. We just discovered the place apparently and our dog woke up. So we're having a good time all around. Oh. Damn it. Stop moving for a second. Ah, he's inside. Oh. You're talking, but where are you? Can I use your computers against you? Oh shit. Look at that heavy armor. That's not going to do me many favors, is it? Where'd she go? Oh. That's not really going to help me. Go, doggy, go. You'll get that power armor. Oh. Deal with this real quick. This would be a good time to have my own power armor. Probably. Yeah, you get him, doggy. You got this. I believe in you. Poor guy's trying. Alright. That didn't even that didn't even really help. Alright. What do we have here? Do 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 um revolver rifle. What is this one like? Oh shit. Jesus Christ. Damage is definitely coming in. Alright. Obviously that's not gonna help me at all at all. Let's see, how far am I from a crit? If I shoot him enough times, maybe we'll just get a mysterious stranger coming in here. Oh crit, we're already on a crit, cool. Go for that headshot then. And then accept. Critical time. Not that effective. Alright, I tried. God damn, that damage comes in. I liked you better when you were downstairs. Alright. Uh. Fucking power armor. Take those headshots. Can't live forever. The real question is, how many stim packs do you have? <laughs> Damn. I hide behind this. Yeah, I hide behind this for a bit. That'll buy me some time. So many headshots on that exposed head. She has the hardest head in the history of the wasteland. Harder than Strong and Fox and other super mutants that we don't know the names of. Am I even hitting him? I think I am. It's hard to aim at the head and then also tell whether or not the health bar is moving sometimes. There we go. God damn. Alright. I might be- I might be done doing these, uh, go find this pl go help this place out for us quests for a little bit, because they have outpaced me in level, dramatically. There was a difficulty curve to these side quests. Hey, dog meat. Get some of that sweet ammo to make up for the fact that I lost so much of it. Let's see. Leather right leg. In particular, I should look at the weird pieces of clothing. Power helmet. 
The power stuff is just the whole armor set that's gonna lead to me not being able to move. What did I just find? Apparel. Was it leaded? Okay, I cannot see shit. So hang on a second. Gotta move a little bit. Get out of stealth mode. It's really awkward that you can't read that thing. I got like new leather, right? That's the equipped stuff. Girded leather. Um, not particularly useful. Alright, get rid of that. I want to look for long johns or something like that. If I can find it. Mining helmet, ladle. Whoa. Road leathers. There we go. I think that's what I was going for. Yep, road leathers appears to be the undercurrent. Oopsie. Get off of him. So now I'm wearing clothes. We did it. We finally did it. So yeah, there's stuff like long johns and, and leathers and things like that that actually show up as equipment. So it makes it look less like you're a fucking lunatic running around nude. <laughs> so that's that's how that part works. All those long johns I was looting before. Also, I could use the Vault 111 gear, which I might go back for just to have the right look for it. Although it does label me as an outsider, even if characters aren't going to actually acknowledge it. Hey doggy, you find something in here? Ammo, bottle cap mine. Good thing that wasn't active. That would have been bad for us. Don't see anything on these shelves. I doubt we're done here. There's probably plenty of people downstairs still. Turret control. Oh, cool. Let me guess. It's already destroyed, right? Units connected three. Um. About your defense system. Can I change what whose team they're on? Three linked. One is offline, two are nearby. Alright, deactivate. Cool. For once, I actually found the turret controls while there were still turrets to control. It's too bad you can't make them on your team, like in certain other RPGs, where you could make all the turrets join your team and then cause mayhem for a while. Gotta get all that ammo to make up for all the stuff we wasted. That's an interesting sounding... If I see enough prefixes and stuff like that on a weapon name, on an item name, I'll be like, let's check that one out, maybe that'll... Maybe not right away, but at some point, when I look back at it, that might turn out to be an upgrade. Yeah, I'm fully getting into the whole thing I, I should have been getting into from the get-go, which is to look into... Oh, look, the head, his head exploded. Or her head exploded. What is that? Oh my god, he plays with teddy bears. Wait, where'd it come... He also apparently spawns teddy bears to play with. Concerning a little bit. Alright, so I'm a little curious for cosmetic reasons. I'm currently wearing some kind of... I'm wearing road leathers. What about raider letters? Letters. Leathers. Nope, I'm, that, that takes me right back into being weirdly not wearing clothes. So let's drop those. Road works for me. It's got that... Yeah. Got vaguely that uh, Mad Max feel to it. Who's around here? Machine gun turret mark 5. Let's see. Any other target? Machine gun. Those are both... Deactivated now, right? I guess there's only one way to know for sure. Hey, buddy. If it's not deactivated, it's definitely going down. Hey, buddy. Do I own this place yet? <laughs> um... How do I get to... There we go. Data, quests... Talk to the settlers... Oh, yeah! Oh no, kill the raiders at Dunwich. Okay, we're not, we haven't killed all the raiders yet. Oh, there's one. Forgot about him. Our neighbor upstairs. I think he's dead. Anyone else want to play? Probably gonna have to go down there. There's probably going to be... Let's see. There's almost certainly gonna be some kind of facility down there, because every time we get sent to this kind of mission, it's always like, yeah, go inside this door and load up the separate environment and fight things. So I'm probably gonna have to go down there, but let's go up here first. Just to check it out, because if anyone's around here, I don't want to miss them. And also, there's already, we've already spotted this facility that could have stuff in it. Worth looking at. Is that a bunch of blocks? I guess it makes sense with the setting. Anyone else up here? You all alone. Shotgun shells. 
Leaded buttressed raider right leg. It's very specific. Alright. Rad away, thank you. Never have to worry about rads again at this point. Technical document. I need to go deliver those at some point because I've got a lot of them now. Yay! Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Just wanted to reload. Let's see. Any enemies out here? Looks like just boxes and blocks. I think next step's gonna have to be to go down. Alright. Convenient. Staircase over here. Is there another facility with a guy on it over here? Water tower. That doesn't bring anything up. Alright, let's go find out. Hello. Oh, the sun's coming up. That's nice. Just in time for us to probably go underground. Where we won't, where we won't see it anymore. Is my dog jumping off of stuff and hurting himself? Because I keep hearing impact noises. Ooh. One of the turrets we took out. Could slide down. Let's just take stairs, though. Here we go. Anyone around? Oh, cool. They're burning bodies. Like raiders do. Okay, stop playing in the corpses, dog. It's unbecoming. Oh, there's another one of the turrets I blew up. Just need to find some kind of entrance, I assume. Got the machine. Surprising lack of actual units down here. Oh, hello. Are you dead? Oh, what? They ca they put a bunch of pot people up here? And then just, like, put them over the fire and smoked them out? That's some dark stuff right there. They're chained, aren't they? Something's definitely chained. Oh, gross. That's concerning for a number of reasons. Hey, ammo. What kind of... Athletic outfit. Hide outfit. What, what kind of raiders take put the bodies up here and they don't even get the caps off of them? And ammo? These guys have ammo? Rad stag hide outfit? I think I, this one already had a second ago. Alright. Round two of my dressing room. Inventory, apparel, athletic outfit. Oh wait, was that pants? Oh shit, that's pants. My mistake. That's a bummer. Did not mean to do that. And... Oh, that's a whole outfit. Get out of here with that garbage. Alright, back to looking around. That I fixed my little inventory problem. A lot of caved in broken stuff around here. Oh, does this go somewhere? Oh, there we go. There's a staircase. Alright, that might go on for a while, too. So, guys, I think I'm gonna stop it here. Ooh, explosives. Thanks for watching, like always. We found our place to the- We found our way to this pretty dramatic-looking location. And the sun's coming up just in time for us to pro- Just to go subterranean and probably never see any of it. Thanks for watching, like always. I'll see you next time.